Hey, how's it going guys? It's Surge coming at you again with another tech tutorial. I just wanted to show you guys a really awesome app that was developed by a developer on xdadevelopers.com and it's called Screen Off Memo. So you've probably seen this with the Note 5, especially when it first came out. They showed a demo where they were able to pull the S Pen out of the phone and then with the device locked or with the device off, you would quickly get this memo screen that's all black and then you write in white. So this is what the app is going to do for you on the Note 3. So it's a quick little APK install. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do it and we'll talk more about it later. Here we are at the XDA developers website. If you have any questions on what this app is or any changes such as this update done on the 21st of September, you can read all of this here. The latest version right now is version 1.3 and we're gonna go ahead and download that below. So before we do this, I'm gonna show you a screenshot that there is down here, just to quickly show you how it's gonna look like. Just like this, all right? So here is the APK at the bottom. You wanna go ahead and download the latest one, which is at the bottom at version 1.3. Then go ahead and hit okay. Once it's done downloading, go ahead and open it up. And if you get the install block, go ahead and go into settings and then un unknown sources and then OK. I recommend you only allow it per installation, by the way. So go ahead and install the screen off memo. All right. And then once it's done installing, go ahead and decline this, by the way. Once it's done installing, you want to go ahead and hit open, not done. You want to run it at least once before you actually start using it. And there's actually no requirement for you to restart your phone for it to start working. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. And as you see here, it's just a black screen. So I'm going to just go ahead and close this out. I'm going to turn off the screen. And with the screen off, I went ahead and pulled out my S Pen. And then you could see that the the screen off memo pulls up immediately. So I'm going to write this is test one. And this was done with the screen off. All right, so that's one way. And I'm going to just, you can press the check mark up here at the top right to save it, or you can simply put the S Pen back in your phone and it will quickly save that to your S Note. All right, so now we're going to test it with the lock screen. And as you see, I just pulled out the S Pen while I was at the lock screen and then you can automatically start writing. And this is test two, and this was done with the screen on and at the lock screen. All right, and as you see here, I mess up on the E. So I'm just gonna write in the N and then you can actually select the eraser and the eraser works as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the pen again and type in the E. There you go. And to save it, again, I can just simply put the S Pen back in the phone and it automatically saves. All right, so another thing I wanna show you is I'm gonna unlock the phone and I'm gonna pull the S Pen out and you only get the air command. So as you see, it doesn't work when the phone is on, so it will work normally. On version 1.2, it would pop up, but version 1.3 of this app, they have fixed that and then you only get your air command again. So next thing I'm going to show you, the notifications are there whenever you save them. And then you can go ahead and pop them open here. And then you'll get a quick little preview. Or you could just simply go into S-Note or your action memo list. And they will all be saved within S-Note in this action memo section. All right, so after that simple APK install, you should have the screen off note memo installed on your Verizon Note 3. So this should work on any Samsung Note variant. It doesn't necessarily have to be the Note 3. It should work on the Note 4 as well. And it can also work for any kind of phone that is not a Note series, like a Samsung S6 or S4. The only thing is you're only able to use it within the app. So you would have to go into your app drawer and open it up. So it kind of defeats the purpose of it. So if you have any kind of Samsung Note device, 
then it should work with you pulling your S Pen out. So if you found this video useful, please be sure to give me a like down below. Also subscribe, there's a whole bunch of other videos that I'm coming out with for the Verizon Note 3 on how to trick it out, modify it, make it faster, and work better for you. So be sure to subscribe to get those videos in your subscriptions as soon as they come out. Also, I want to give credit where credit is due. I want to give credit to Gutless LX. He produces and makes all the music used in this video and in previous videos. So if you haven't checked him out on SoundCloud or Twitter, go ahead and do that now. All the links will be in the description down below. Alright guys, so hopefully you found this video useful and I will see you in the next one.